Laura Meza served with U.S. forces in Iraq in 2003. Dealing with post-traumatic stress on her return, she turned to illegal drugs and was deported to her native Costa Rica. This 4th of July, she's back in the United States for the first time in 14 years as part of the Biden administration's Immigrant Military Members and Veterans Initiative that allows some veterans who got in trouble with the law and were deported to re-enter the United States and restart their lives. You go to war and you see things that you're not expected to see and feel things you're not expected to feel. You see so many people at the same time hurt, or it's one thing to see one or two people hurt or injured, but it's another thing to see hundreds of people injured at the same time, to see hundreds of human beings where you feel like it's out of control, you can't do anything, and there's so many people hurt, bleeding, injured, no uh, limb, no arm, no leg. And you know these people's lives and everybody's going to be affected forever. After that, really, I started feeling angry, upset, bitter. Hector Barajas works with an organization that helps veterans who had been deported. Veterans have been deported since 1996. That's over 20 years, and that's four administrations. And this is the first administration that decided to do anything. Barajas was honorably discharged after six years in the U.S. Army and was later involved in a shooting that he says sent him to prison for two years before he was deported back to Mexico. He was eventually pardoned, became a U.S. citizen and started advocating for other deported veterans. I feel that definitely somebody who served, that put their life on the line, uh, should not be deported. You know, I've, I buried many people that at the end of the day, they're going to be buried in the United States, like any other veteran. And the same words are going to be said to them as any other veteran is, thank for your country, a grateful nation, and it just seems so unjust to me. This day, he's crossing to Tijuana, where his group operates a support house for deported U.S. veterans waiting to return. Jose Velasco is one of them. I have six great-grandchildren. I have grand grandchildren, I have, I, have, I have children, and in, in other words, my family's in the U.S. That's the main reason, but other reasons too, so I can claim my benefits. Veterans such as Velasco can claim their military benefits outside the country, but are not eligible for Social Security unless they're permanent residents or U.S. citizens. For Mesa, the 14 years it took her to get back to the United States has her hoping that more veterans will be able to come home soon. Jenny Adulo for VOA News, San Diego.